Hi there. Um, I'm reading outside today because it's really, really nice. I hope that you are able to go outside when the sun is out and enjoy some warm weather because sometimes it can be a little stuffy being trapped in your house all day. So um, I'm going to be reading outside. I apologize in advance if the birds are loud or if there's dogs barking. I'll try to read really loud so that way we can keep going even if there are noises. Um, today I'm going to be reading The Bernstein Bears and Mama's New Job. This is by Stan and Jan Bernstein. Published by Random House. The bear family who lived in the big tree house down a sunny dirt road deep in bear country was a, happy, a very happy family. One of the reasons they were so happy was they were all very busy. Each member of the family had work to do. Papa Bear cut and split logs and made the wood into handsome furniture which he was proud to sell. Mama Bear not only took care of her family, but she managed the whole tree house and tended the vegetable patch as well. And, of course, brother and sister Bear had important jobs, too, going to school and keeping up with their schoolwork. The members of the Bear families had hobbies, too. Papa's favorite hobby was fishing and napping. He caught almost as many naps as he caught fish. Brother and sister also had hobbies. Brother was especially proud of his model airplanes. He liked to have Mama watch him fly his models, and sometimes she helped him fly his tether plane. Sister was a super rope jumper, and her goal was to jump a thousand times without a miss. She liked to have Mama count for her because Sister could jump faster than she could count. Since Mama was so busy with her household duties, she had time for just one hobby. But what a hobby! Mama was the best quilt maker in all of bear country. Her quilts were light and fluffy, but very warm. Her stitchery was fine and even, and her designs were original and exciting. Sister Bear slept cozy and warm under a quilt that sh showed her jumping rope. Brother went to sleep under a handsome airplane design, and the big quilt on Mama and Papa's bed showed the Bear's family beautiful tree house. Yes, the members of Bear family had happy, busy, full lives, especially Mama. My dear called Papa to Mama as she worked in the vegetable patch. If it wouldn't be too much trouble, would you put aside any fishing worms you might find? Look, Mama called Brother, I'm going to be flying my new biplane. I'm going to try for a thousand, Mama said, Sister. Would you please count for me? A little too full, thought Mama from time to time. She would have liked to have a little more time for her quilts. She had some lovely design ideas she wanted to try. A sunburst with clouds and bluebirds. A beautiful bouquet of flowers with butterflies. And a harvest scene with pumpkins and squash. But there never seemed to be enough time. It's because she's so busy. Then one day, something happened that changed the lives of Bear Family. Something that changed Mama's quilt making from a hobby into a business. It might not have happened except for a coincidence, a coincidence, which is two things happening at the same time. The two things that happened were Papa had a big furniture sale, some very special furniture, and on the same day, Mama hung out the family's quilt to air. Hmm, so I wonder what people thought when they saw the quilts. Folks who came to buy Papa's handsome furniture became excited about Mama's beautiful quilts and wanted to buy them too. Would-be buyers offered Mama quite a lot of money. They were very disappointed when she told them the quilts were not for sale. With your talent, you should really start a business, they said. Mama in a business, said Papa. I don't think so. One business bear is enough, is, in the family is enough. But Mama wasn't so sure. She was proud of her quilt-making skills and knowledge. After all, she was president of the Bear Country Quilting Club. Other quilt makers often came to her for help and advice. So Mama wanted to start the business. That evening, Papa and the cubs noticed that Mama was very quiet. She was quiet during supper. She was quiet during cleanup. She was quiet all evening. She was quiet because she was thinking thinking about going into business. The next day at lunch, she made her big announcement. I've decided to open up a quilt shop, she said, and I've rented the empty store just down the road. Now, 
Not that overgrown wreck that's been empty for years, protested Papa. But you don't want to be a business bear, said Sister. You're our mama. That's no reason why I shouldn't open my own quilt shop. A lot of mama bears have jobs. Mrs. Grizzle is a sitter. Mrs. Honeybear teaches school. Dr. Gert Grizzly is your pediatrician. Yeah, said Brother, but they're not our mama. There's really nothing to worry about, said Mama. Things aren't going to be all that different. Will you still account for me when I jump rope, asked Sister, and will you still watch me fly my airplanes, Brother wanted to know. And how about my fishing worms, asked Papa. Will you still put them aside for me when you tend the vegetable patch? We'll see about all of that, Mama said. Meanwhile, I have to be at the shop. Some of my quilt club friends are helping me get it ready. And oh yes, she added as she turned to leave, there's a lot to do, so supper may be a little late tonight. Ta-da! Ta-ta, said Papa. Ta-ta, said the cubs. Supper wasn't a little late that night. It was a lot late, and it was Papa and the cubs who prepared it. But they didn't mind, because although Mama was very tired, she was very happy, too. Happy and excited. Guess what, said Sister as she served Mama her supper. I reached a thousand jumps today. Brother counted for me. And Sis helped me fly my tether plane. We had a great flight, added Brother. And I weeded the vegetable patch, said Papa, bringing a tub of warm water to Mama for her tired feet. Well, said Mama, I'm very proud of all of you. Papa and the cubs were very proud of her, too. There was no way to tell whether the quilt shop would be a success, but she certainly was giving it a try. After about two weeks of hard work, the Bear Country Quilt Shop had its grand opening. It was a very exciting event. Not only did Mama sell her own quilts, but she sold quilts from all the other members of her club as well. It was a great success. Why, even Mayor and Mrs. Honeypot came in their long lavender limousine. They brought one quilt and they bought one quart, quilt and ordered three more. I know what," said Mama as she closed up the shop that night. "Let's stop off at the Burger Bear for supper. My treat." The Bear family celebrated with delicious Burger Bear supper. Papa and the Cubs were very proud of their business bear wife and mama. The extra money came in handy, too. So that was a great story about how Mama Bear had a dream, and even though she was a super busy Mama Bear, um, all of her other tasks were just kind of taken up by brother and sister and papa, so her dream was able to come true. So it's a really great story. Um, maybe if you have time to do like writing at home or if you have any like journaling time that you have in your day for school, you could maybe write about a dream that you have and how you could make it possible. So I hope you enjoyed.